Walter, what is the secret of your company? So we are here with our friend Walter. He's gonna invite us to have a coffee. We have a cafe. We're gonna have a coffee now with Costa Rica style. And that's the way. When I was young. When I get to the business, I didn't drink coffee. Then I started with uh, three spoons of sugar. And now I drink around 12 espresso per day. We have and he's still quiet. Without, without. You see, that is pleasure. Full pleasure. You can feel the smell. Mm -hmm. Muchas gracias, caballero. Muchas gracias por no cobrar. ¿Estás seguro que no le cobro? Porque si me dice que le cobro. So that, that drinking coffee at home in Costa Rica would I uh, normally would a family normally have you know, prepared this way? This was the way that that was prepared. Costa Rica has the the second place of consume of producing coffee and producing coffee and after Brazil, we're the second growing coffee the consumer. Mm. Okay. And we have Finland first. We have uh, we are we have I think it's German a lot of place in Europe and we're the fourth. And consumer kilo per person in the world. Hmm. And Costa Rica, most of the people drink drunk that way the coffee. Now, right now we have all coffee makers in our house, but it doesn't have the same taste. Yeah. You see, I prefer the used one because it has the oil. Ah. <laughs> Oye, tiene buen brazo usted ahí. Es que tiene buen pulso, si no estamos. Okay. But if if you were to do this uh, like this, I mean it's a pretty simple structure to make, right? That you would use the coffee grounds that you use for a coffee maker. Just put it there. Yes, it's the same. It's the same. The same. It's the same. It's the same. To make one of these. It's very yeah. simple. That would be kind of a cool thing to do. It's a gift. Do you mention at the airport in? in